Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan and in this lesson we will learn how to get different kind of information from an application using SQL injection vulnerability. In our previous lesson we learned how to find vulnerable columns using this attack. Now what we have to do is that we will find the version of MySQL and we will learn how to capture the database name and the user being used vulnerable column basically gives us information and returns data that we are requ uh, requesting now suppose I want the data to be shown here I will simply replace this thing this word using the data I want like suppose I want the version of database being used I will write version and this will return the version being used like you can see here it's 10.1.29 now I want the other column to show the user being used I will use user and the brackets parentheses you can say and this is a user being used root at localhost we can also see other information like the database that it's using it's dvwa Using this technique, we can get any, uh, any kind of information that we want. In the next lesson, we will learn how to dump columns and tables from the database. So we can get the information that we want. Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan. And in this lesson, we will learn how to uh, get table names from a database of an application. In our previous lesson, we learned how to find vulnerable columns and how to get information out of it we got two vulnerable columns here now what we have to do is that we have to find column na uh, table names from its database so we have to select first of all any vulnerable parameter I mean vulnerable column name here Let's select this. We have to enter group concat table name. What this will do is that this will return all the table names that exist in the database and will print them here in the first place as I selected the first column. Now, after the columns, I have to enter from information underscore schema dot table so this will get the table name from here space where table schema is equal to database now this will search the table name from the database and will, re will return all the tables that were found in the database so this is the query over here we have to enter a group underscore concat parentheses table name wherever we want to print the database name uh, column table name actually and after the columns we have to enter from information schema dot tables where table schema is equal to database so this query will get us the table names from the database let's see if this works and you can see that we got two table here the first one is the guest book and the second is users so that's how to get table names out of the database in the next lesson we will learn how to get information out of it In our previous lesson, we learned how to 
get the table names from the database. Now we're going to get all the columns of users table. What we're going to do is that we will replace the table name with column name and the tables with columns. So we'll get column name from information schema dot columns. Next we have to replace table schema with table name and we have to enter table name here which is users now as you can see that we got all the columns of the table now the interesting one is user and password now we will replace column name with the table that we want interesting one is user and password here we will use 0x3a that will be column and password from the table name here now as you can see that we got the password hash here and the username which is admin we can also input any other column name that we want from the users table so that's how we got the information from the database